I'll try a DTS on there. Yeah, uh, bit of Lego that comes up on the screen. Do not attack. You ran me, Nigeria. Do not attack. Fall back now. Get out of there. That's an order. channels out put it Thinking a third one. Thinking a third one there. Let's uh, see. I'll put from here. I'll put. Uh, I'm gonna have to do some diagrams because this one's a bit. This one's a bit um, complicated. But it's simple. It's the uh, staring right at me. I'm probably staring at it. Uh-huh. Oh. This still seems a bit on the loud side. Back on! Freeze your arm! I'm really clamping down on the dynamics. <laughs> uh, it's just a bit late, that's all. <laughs> It's a slight little hiccup on it, so but it's okay. It's only when chapter searching back. bit of foley.
It's sunny. So, um, after I get this uh, all networking, I think uh, back through there from some of the other decoders because at the moment it's mostly um, not going through those, and I'm not a big fan of uh, the onboard BSUs taking sound from the you know because I could do it far, far better than that. So, uh, oh, crikey. Um, I might be doing some um, change through this so I've got a few more DCXs coming uh, and this uh, just gets slightly um, this bit here DTS and CP 750 this will get shifted up to about here yeah, this second SDDS will come out of the rack. Um, and I'll probably still be checking to see uh, if I can find the fault on the analog card. Um, but I'll get this SDDS, try and get this back up and running sometime this week. So, no week, no relevance. Get, the, get, get everything else back up and running. Um, still, still in. Can uh, the 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 te techniques up there that's still in um so that's on the, the other uh, input on there for the uh, RCA eight in channel input but that's got to be all undone and then um this partly uh, all this here so this here will go partly into here and then this here will then go down to back into here. Uh, or on one of the DB25 connectors uh, go up a bit, still back up onto auxiliary number one let's still go back up onto auxiliary one and then CP200 will be up on auxiliary number two which I've got um, got the switcher switcher box there um, and I could probably put um, something else in because there's a this one, this switcher hitbox here, because it's um, four inputs, one output, so I can put an additional anything else there in and still be able to switch it into one of these auxiliary or auxiliary one or auxiliary two. So I have additional, um, but I've got to figure out how to get um, this back in. Because uh, Avatar, Avatar sounds pretty good with a uh, four-channel matrix or five, five, five screen matrix. Sounds pretty damn good. Uh, so I'll get that back on my hands too. Uh, was it a thought of that still? You know, this could probably do it like a matrix, but it seems to only like do it kind of like in a discrete way. Um, but it seems like it's an additional sort of feature with Atmos. Not sure if it does it with anything else. Let's have a check. I put the worst movie ever in. This load of rubbish. Let's just see what see what I can see. See what I can see on the um, playback output levels. Dreadful colour on this movie. I think, is this dropping out? Can't stand Will Smith. This movie is just dreadful. Jammed up, heading over town now. Gear up. That's not IMAX. That's LIMAX. Fuck! We got 
Not, not seeing anything much in the way of um, Turn this rubbish down. This movie is utter rubbish. A load of load of rubbish. But it doesn't seem to be using um, any left center right center. From from what I can see, this looks like the only channels this crappy Limax is using. Limax enhanced, enhanced what? What's it enhancing? A load of crap. Look at this, this movie is absolute dire. I don't know how anyone can like this movie, it's absolute garbage. Dumpster fire. I think they just made, I think they just made this movie just for the, you know, just because they're probably bored. <laughs> It's like, did, does, did the audience really care? I think it was a kind of woke movie, if you know what I mean. One of these woke movies. No. Doesn't seem to use any... Um, this is... This must be all the rubbish it's using on it. So it's just using the LCR, the LFE, uh, the, the, the side surrounds over there. But they're not they're not turned on at the moment. And um, from I think um, some of the height channels I think here. I think some of the height ones, but uh, or whatever. But that's it. That's all really it's using. It's a load of rubbish. And um, guess what? Bloody ejecting it. Bloody load of rubbish. <laughs> All right, let's see what this load of rubbish is like. Um, I, I got the the uh, the Aura version, which is on a German disc sort of thing, but um, don't really care to play Aura 3D. This is a load of rubbish. This is one of these movies that was just totally unnecessary. A load of rubbish. Let's see what it utilizes. I don't like this menu. It sucks. I don't know why they didn't have a pop-up menu, but you got to go into this and it absolutely sucks. Okay, let's see what it utilises. So far on the opening title there, it's not really, it's not really thrilling. Oh, there's a little bit there going on there now. Still, this problem with the centre channel being too low in the mix. Typical blimmin'. Typical blooming hands and we're trying to drown out drown out everything in the center channel. Inspiring, I don't think this movie. 
So what? So what, a bit of bloody bass and the bloody Zimmer, bloody African drums and that. So what? Still not seeing any look much uh, in the guards of uh, left centre, right centre. Officer KD6-3.7. Let's begin. Ready? Yes, sir. God, this movie's boring. In cells interlinked. Within cells interlinked. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll unlink it because I've had enough of it. Boring. Okay, I'll try midway. See what this is like. See what this looks like. This looks what sounds like. a bit of usage down here. Carry the day. Nobody wants a war. See what it uses on this mix. No left center, right center yet on this mix on this film. It's not not um, brilliant so far, I don't think. Let's see, uh... Hmm. A bit suspiciously, that it is a little bit on left center, right center, but there's something that's telling me. My... From what I was testing uh, on this with, uh, oh, I think it was last no year. Sound a little bit fishy. Um,
Mm, it's not widely used with left centre and right centre. A little bit there, but mm, that was kind of like. Hmm. I think by far the best best one is probably gravity. Gravity by far. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, this one's starting to be a bit of a boring movie, really, if you ask me. It's not really doing a whole lot there for the old uh, Atmos mix on this. So, these would have to be a bit more thorough test with a uh, kind of um, going through these again, live video. <sighs> Try this next, see what this is like. So this is like on the uh, storm. See if that repeats. Okay, I've got it on repeat. This is something there. Just checking through everything. Mm. It's okay. Weird. Not seeing the LFE signal uh, present on this uh, Dolby trailer. Quite a bit of active use on left centre, right centre as well as LCR, but there's a heck of a lot of bass in those channels, don't forget. And, uh, I can see everything going on, on so I've heard what it sounds like on the um, overheads before, so... I'm curious, there's no LFE there. I'll just let that trailer play one more time. Turn off the... Turn off the repeat. Wow, that's a lot of bass on the left center, right center. You know, you got cuts to certain things in this movie where sometimes it shows DTS HDMA, you know, like at the beginning of the movie, and then that's going to just delve out, and then they go, you know, it's so bad. Who did the offering on this disc, really? The whole truth. Nothing but the truth will help you, God. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Keep me seated. Mr. Williams, can you please give us your best recollection of the event on the Deepwater Horizon? I was on the phone around 9.30 with my wife. That's when I heard the hissing noise. I hear the engine start to rev. The hissing turned into... You'll see it, Ghostman. Well, 
Madrini and Bob Kaluza. Welcome back, Mr. Jim. Yeah. So, you got all 500 feet of cement poured, huh? Yep. The cement's the only thing between us and the blowout. And it's cured. Yes. Had enough time, huh? Takes time to do it right. I mean, that cement job is compromised and everything above it is too. Well, it's not compromised. Houston doesn't have a problem. So I assume Slumber J guys said the same. Cement bond log day. Love to hear exactly what piece of mission critical equipment I'm down. Shit, sure. where do I start? A drill and chair, process station 18, BOP control pods, telephone system, pipe racket system, GPS antenna, direct TV system, wireless internet, iron roughneck, top drive rack bag system, auxiliary draw works control, salt water service pump, smoke alarms in the galley. The reason why you're sweating so hard is because the compressor of the AC on this deck are down too. Hmm. Everything but the toilet, huh? To do it properly takes time. 43 days. 44 days. Keep counting, Bob. 45 days. 46 days. That was good, Bob. Uh, <laughs> can't run a cement log. 45 days. 46 days. That was good, Bob. Uh, Keep counting, Bob. 5 days. 46 days. That was good, Bob. Uh, can't run a cement log. I'll tell you that. I mean, there's other fee on this. Um, this is one of these other movies that is, uh, you know, it's just bloody loud. Just ridiculously bloody loud, so. Initiate negative pressure right. test. Put the audio limiters on it. It's just one of these, you know, films that is like, you know, it's just totally unnecessary. This is just bloody loud. Uh, doesn't seem like it's utilising any left, centre, right, centres. Really think this is the last test. I so, yeah. wonder what much goes on down there with the uh, the surrounds. I wonder how much goes on. Uh, oh, oh, a little bit of left center right there. So, just mute that. A little bit of left center, right center coming up, but really, look at the levels on the uh, the other channels. Oh, crikey. Come on, really. you got to be kidding me with that. I mean, look at the levels up here. You're not going to notice it. It's just going to be a lot of over-modding on the other channels. Something like this, I would have to um, kind of rehearse it. And then see what, what, you know, what levels need to be adjusted. Or I can go in onto the remote software on here. The, uh, or I can just easily do it down here. Do it on the DCX. Oh, another little bit there, but pfft, I don't know what the heck that was. I was just completely buying some bloody neck. Using the earplugs in this movie completely wrong. See the earplug in there, he's here. That's incorrect. That's just typical Hollywood. That's the incorrect way to wear an earplug, and uh, I got the same exact earplugs. Right there. And uh, he's got them put in these air uh, like this uh, way. So it's like if I uh, hold the camera there, it's got it sort of like this. The earplug kind of tucked in on his ear slightly. If I rest on my finger, I can still hear that a little bit. You're supposed to take the earplug and roll it like so until it's thin and then 
pop it in the air canal. Pop it down so far. And then you can hear it expanding. I rustle my fingers again. Don't really hear it because it's uh, filtering. And when you take the earplugs out, you take them out slowly. Yeah, I know it's the typical, typical Hollywood. Because there's no real loud sound there on the set. <laughs> Little sound effects and that. But yeah, this is a bit of a disappointing. Strange that the, uh, the Dolby Atmos, uh, there's another one uh, trailer, and it's mostly on these. Um, um, oh, I forgot what the other movie is now. Where it's got another same Dolby Atmos trailer. Um, yeah, so uh, probably go to another scene. Let's have a look. Oh, no, another another little bit of scene here. Yeah, earplugs. But that's completely the wrong way to wear it. He hasn't got that earplug put in his ear canal correctly. They just they think, uh oh, hmm. But they're just actors, you know, they probably never used earplugs before. And they I can see the earplugs are a little bit too visible. They have not put put in the ear canal. You've got to roll it and put put it in the ear canal and then let it expand and then it's got a good seal to keep, you know, to you know, keep some of those high frequency or middle range sounds um uh, lowered, otherwise, you know. And just bend your ears, just your ears will just get bent by the bloody loudness. But it's, it's not really a movie I'm really into, really. And seeing how 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 it's going on here so far, I mean, mm -hmm. of course, when I get the uh, get this back up and running, get this back and then I could probably oh, man, do a left center, right center matrix. It's weird, you know, the LCRs, the uh, left center, right center is not being used. You know, it's all a sound that's going in and around here. Oh, now there's a little bit. That was unsurprising. Yeah, a little bit there. Oh, oh wow, that was it. That was that was exciting. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, still, I think Gravity is by far still by the best movie to use left center, right center. Um. No, it's not going very high there compared to the other channels. It's easy. Let me see. Let me see what I can do here. Just lower the left and right down. Uh, the left and the right side. LCR, I'll just lower that down a little bit. to distinguish really because of the kind of <laughs> maybe 
be fair, I think I've got a bit close to the screen. Yeah, and that's a lot of reef there. Yeah, the sun up. Still mostly on the right, right centre. Uh, oh, well, I don't know, it. I think with the action and everything that's going on, um, Uh, so it's not a this is a movie I don't think that's very well mixed. <laughs> 